Evie, you wanna go in the car? She going to get her hair cut. You ready? Good morning. We're so happy you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoy this video, come back tomorrow. He was very excited to go and get her hair cut this morning. Can't wait to show you how she looks after. Alrighty, I am here, ready to pick up Eve. I have not been out of the house that early in a very long time, or even just like outside. I forgot how good a Florida summer morning feels, and I definitely will try and like at least go out and walk Eve earlier than I have been, because it felt so good just to be out. Um, Alrighty, let's go see how Evie girl looks. Wow, look how beautiful. You got a fancy bow. Are you so happy? You wanna go see Peter? You wanna go see Peter? Oh, Evers, you look so fresh. This is, this is for you. Oh my gosh. Wow. This you. is my puppy. Our, Did they clean her teeth? Yeah. Nice. Teeth, everything. She's so happy. Whoa. What's your bow? Thank she won't you. give me kisses. She's mad She's at mad, me. So. Oh, it did! Oh. It was this a short, a short grudge. Yes, it's gorgeous in here. Yes, it's 1.03 p.m. Yes, I've been working since 6 a.m. So... Since that's my Monday, how my Monday work week started, I'm treating myself to a cold Pepsi. Um, I was hoping since I started early, I'd be able to stop working early, but things got crazy with work today. Like over the weekend, a bunch of the senior leaderships were like working and changing strategies for the company or something like that. And I won't go into details, but um, a lot of a lot of busy work for me to establish for a Monday. But hopefully, it's today is going to be busy, and then it'll be easy to replicate opportunity so how's your Monday going this is a fancy intro to the <laughs> city hall city council we're about to listen into the city council live stream meeting hopefully they'll be talking about some things that we've been protesting about so this is this is good this is somebody actually talking about police reform to city council directly on the minutes. And deal with the fact that you're not doing anything at all to help the people here in Orlando. If Orlando is a city beautiful, make it beautiful by doing the right thing and make these laws to fit the people. Alrighty, we are done listening to the city council meeting. They did not read any of the questions, um, but we do take comfort in knowing that they have to be read by the members and that they will be like, put on record. So even though they weren't spoken out loud, they are on record with the city hall. I am cooking up some dinner tonight. Basically a veggie stir fry of just whatever veggies we have. We are ready to go grocery shopping again. Um, so just making sure none of the veggies go bad. Here, <laughs> here is my sous chef. I don't know why she's sitting like that. You look more like a chihuahua right now, Evie. So I have some rice going, just plain white rice. And then three stalks of cel celery, the same amount of carrots, half an onion, some minced garlic, salt, pepper, um, ginger, and some soy sauce right now, just getting the base veggies all heated up. I added some zucchini to the pan with sriracha and chili powder. I want the zucchini to be spicy on its own, but maybe not take over the whole dish. Um, so I'm gonna cook that up separately. So I just added some broccoli in and some teriyaki sauce, mixed it all together. I think I'm just gonna add in a tomato and maybe some spinach and then get the rice involved. So I added in the tomato and a little bit of water just to make sure that the veggies were getting nice and cooked and also so that there's enough liquid when I add in the rice that whatever it soaks up, there's still a lot of flavor. So I did put a little bit more of salt and pepper and a little bit more garlic 
and a little bit oh of the teriyaki sauce just to get the the flavor up change of plans we're just gonna keep the veggie separate and put it on top of the rice and so i just put all this spinach on top it'll wilt and get all mixed in and it'll be all done it's almost seven and we didn't realize that the city hall thing was still going on the person talking right now is one of the the protesters the like leaders talking about needing accountability for all the tear gas and mace that was released during the protest the marches of the last two weeks it, it's it been going on for maybe hours it said pause, maybe but it was like off the connection i think it's going to be saved and posted so i need to go back and listen because i want to hear my comment read look at this pup she's super cute <laughs> also i really quick wanted to point out that i said that they didn't read our comment or whatever but I also wanted to point out that a lot of what the council members were saying didn't really even address what's been going on. And I think that's what's great about these comments is that people are actually bringing up their reactions to how little is actually done during that meeting. Here we go. Time to get a couple of little necessities and maybe a little treat. I'll say it once, never skip the bogos at Publix. I'll say it twice, never skip the bogos at Publix. I always go to Publix during the week and we always say, let's not go there because Peter's going to go crazy. And I say, no, it's fine. I'm a grown boy. I can do it. And then I go crazy. And it's Sarah, four boxes of cereal. Who needs four boxes of cereal? Sarah does. Oh. Second time that happened. <laughs> I got coconut seven layer bar. Sarah got Ooh. PB and, and cookies. PB and cookies. And we're going to watch Thor Roanoke. The last movie before the. <laughs> also, my friends, just saw online that a bunch of the city commissioners that were at the Orlando, that were like, that are part of the Orlando um, city council meeting because of the commissioners, um, came outside and began talking 25 minutes ago with a bunch of the protesters that were at city hall. So I'm bummed I'm not there today, but I'm still working and it's 8:15 p.m. So I can't make it. Plus, we're gonna watch Thor, but like. It was great to listen to those comments. I'm going to see if I can find the Zoom meeting because it was being recorded if they're going to publicize that so I can share it with you all. But there was over 50 people who made comments. And to put them in perspective, there were the day that Disney announced and Disney and SeaWorld proposed their plans to the economic task force of, of Central Florida, there were six public comments. Today there were over 50 and the vast majority of them were about the policing and the... like racial injustice is going on right now and what our city can do to better it. So that's great, but now it's time for Thor Roanoke. Thor Ragnarok. That is good. You guys know I love some Loki. You, so I joke about calling it Roanoke because you guys know I'm not good with my English and when it first came out I said that to somebody. I think it was Tyler. And Tyler was like, <laughs> you mean like... I don't even know the real name. Ragnarok or Ragnarok. Okay, yeah. Ragnarok, Ragnarok, and then it's um, American Horror Story, Roanoke. Yeah, and you just make. This and now I just like it. I just go with it. Um, but we just watched a trailer for um, the new series coming out on Real Father's Day, not Fake Father's Day, called Dads on Apple TV. That had Wrecked. the tears going. Wrecked. And then we just saw that this <sighs> mini series called Deer is on Apple TV, so we're gonna watch the Lin Manuel Miranda episode. Um, and that's emotional. Yeah. Yeah, oh my gosh. This is... It was a good night home, though, right? I mean, like, yeah. the work day was not good. No. Very stressful. No. Monday. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, we made it. We made it? Um, yeah. We're gonna go on to another day? Yeah, I did start looking more at our baby registry. I want us, like, we do that stuff together. But, like, Peter and I also have, like, a very good understanding between us that like I know what he wants and I could not be involved today I was right so but everything I showed you I was like this is something that you'd already expressed but that helped for sure mm -hmm. and I felt like the city hall thing helped today too yeah because there was like and the ice cream and the ice cream <laughs> do you guys know whenever we do that Sarah always saves ice cream like a logical regular human being and every time I have instant regret because I eat that entire thing 
<laughs> I have instant regret because that's way too much ice cream. I have instant regret because my stomach hurts. I have instant regret because when Sarah eats her ice cream tomorrow you know or the next day, regret. I'm just sitting there like. <laughs> I always give you some. Yeah, I have like a bite, but it's really yours. Yeah. Um, so we're I'm like watch sad this. that we're in the last two movies for. I know, but Avengers. I just was thinking we should start Stranger Things. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's one of those things where, like, I've watched all of season one. Yeah. But I never thought Sarah would really get into. No. And and then then we're going to make Sarah go to Halloween. The Halloween vibes. We're going to make Sarah go to Halloween Horror Nights with me when she's, like, eight and a half months pregnant. Is that tea? Yeah. You go through a haunted house. Boom. (laughs) I don't even. That's. I doubt. I I don't think Halloween Horror Nights is going to be a house. Um, But you can still come with me. Be fun. H A Chen, H A Chen, bring in James to H A Chen. All right, so we're watching this episode of Deer about Lemon Manuel Miranda, and they're showing probably <laughs> Peter's most watched YouTube video of all, of time. all time. So I don't know if we've told the vlog. If we have, maybe mm-hmm. once that. Uh-huh. Like, you know how people say, like, oh, they discovered something, or they watched it before it was mainstream? You laugh, but it's true. I have family members that can vouch that I obsessed over Lin-Manuel Miranda's performance. you sit people down and be like, you have to watch this. And it was literally Lin-Manuel Miranda's performance at the White House for the Obamas at a spoken word event. In 2009. 2009, when Hamilton was just a rap album. He was, yeah, he was just going to make an album. And, it's and the, that was He has 16 bars, and that was it. And that's what later evolved into the whole musical. <laughs> like, I've seen this video so many times. <laughs> we'll put the link down below. It, yeah. Watch it, because it's slightly different yeah. than what the final version of the song is. And it's different, too, when you just have one person performing it compared to... The finished piece where like I didn't realize that Aaron Burr is the true narrator of the story and so it's I really cool. I listen to this at least. We still listen to Hamilton in the car. Yeah but I'm saying like this this video I probably watched realistically 600 times. Yeah more than 500. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe not a thousand. A thousand would be unrealistically excessive, I think. Yeah. But, but it, somewhere between 500 and From everybody that you showed. Plus, like, when we would get ready in the morning before we went to work, you'd listen to it every day. And so it's, it's up there. It's up there. It's really good. Go watch it right now. Guys, I even have it on the calendar that Father's Day is this coming weekend. Oh, we got low battery. What's the date? 15th. We're fools whether we dance or not, so we might as well dance. A Japanese proverb. Of that. Mondays, am I right? Oh gosh. You gotta go watch this show. Yeah, you gotta go it's watch so it. So good. I know. So good. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Monday's over. Tomorrow's a new day. Hooray. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.